Oh, check this out. It looks like Eric's, um, it looks like Eric's logo. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. And my sprinters and sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and no, your eyes aren't deceiving you, your ears aren't deceiving you, that wasn't me on that video, but it is my good buddy Pat, aka the Muscle Tech, I'm not sure if you guys remember him from our 2018 How to Play uh, My Vegas Slots video, but he was actually our guest voice on that, I'll go ahead and put a link to that in the description box below, like I usually do, um, but my boy Pat's actually been using the My Vegas system, so everything that he's learned on this channel and for any of you non-believers there, this is what he used to go to Vegas for free. Got three free days, got some free buffets, he got a couple other freebies here, and just have, had a really good time with his lady, and they wanted to go ahead and record the whole experience for me so that I could show it to you guys. Take a look now. Well, it's clear that the couple that plays together stays together. Our muscle tech and his fabulous fiance were able to amass enough My Vegas coins, not just for one free night, but for three free nights between the two of them. All right, so um, we're gonna go get our M Life Rewards card, mm -hmm. and we're gonna check out the lobby and see what uh, see what's okay. see what's over there. Say hi, baby. Hi. All right, we're in the lobby now. The lobby at Park MGM is always fun, but unfortunately, it's afflicted with self check-in kiosks. So this used to be the Monte Carlo. They're checking process. We didn't have a good experience with the check-in process. They have like local shops here. Here's the kiosk check-in. A bit crazy. Here's a tree right there. Hey, baby. All right, so we're in the casinos right now at MGM uh, Park MGM. We're gonna uh, get our M Life rewards. So it's over here, so we can earn some more points. And after a little bit of a struggle, our spinners and sharks were able to get themselves their free King Resort room. All right, so we checked in at Park MGM. Here's Had a little bit of trouble with the check-in. Here's their bathroom. We got a king room, king bed. Oh, oh nice. It's a dimmable light. This place used to be Monte Carlo, but they uh, switched it to Park MGM. on the uh, 20, is it 21st or 22nd floor? 21st. Oh, 21st floor. Here's the view. Overcast weather today. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, it's not bad. We're a bit tired, but we will record a little bit more later. But no one comes to Vegas to spend time in the room. They want to eat, drink, and gamble, and that's exactly what our heroes did. Luckily, Park MGM has plenty of dining variety. All right, so right now we're at the uh, Best Friend Bar. It's pretty cool. Babe, what drink are we getting? Amaretto Sour. All right. <laughs> We're at um, Lala Noodle. 
located at Park MGM. Great ambiance. A little bit of, uh, of a wait, but they text you when your table is ready. And it's uh, Asian cuisine. All right, we're over at Primrose on main floor of the Park MGM. Brunch here with Ben. What did you get, baby? Um, a side of yogurt, sourdough toast, one scrambled egg, and decaf coffee, as always. Nice. I got the steak and eggs, medium, over easy, and a cappuccino. All right, so Park MGM um, led to Aria. It's a nice little shortcut. So we're gonna check out the Aria Buffet. It's also very nearby to Aria, which means that the My Vegas Aria Buffet reward, it's also a very viable dining option. Yeah. All right. How was your experience at the Aria Buffet? Um, it was good. Yeah? It was really good. The only thing I have to say is that I didn't really care for was the desserts, just because I'm a huge dessert person. Okay. And I had carrot cake, and I was so looking forward to having the first bite of carrot cake, and it didn't even really taste like carrots. Okay. It was more coconut. I don't know. I was really disappointed, but just because I'm a huge dessert girl. That's all right. Sweets. But overall, the food? Yeah. So I'd eat there again for sure. That's good. All right. So what are we going to do now, baby? Uh, we're going to go gamble. All right. We're now at the Aria Casino. It's not as smoky as the other ones. Clean and very open over here. The proximity to the Aria Casino also proved lucky for our travelers as they were able to hit it pretty big on the blackjack tables this time. But Vegas isn't all gambling, there's always sights to see. Bellagio Fountains, Mirage Volcanoes, but most importantly this go around, it was time to assemble. Avenger Station was open for business and it was a good time to see the armor shine. Avenger Station. Babe surprised me with this. Thanks baby. Watch out for the ants. <laughs> it's Ant-Man. <laughs> it's like it's the projector. That's awesome, baby. <laughs> You're like, wait, I can't believe you said that. You're like, are these real? <laughs> Okay, this is impressive right here. Alright, we just walked all over Las Vegas. We went to go check out Excalibur, MGM Grand, and what was the other one? Oh, okay, it looks like we're gonna look at some show tickets. Oh look, there's a roller coaster, finally. That thing is pretty high up. 
and what trip to Vegas would be complete without some self-indulgence. Luckily, the M&M's world is the perfect place to indulge. Oh, thank you, baby. Yeah. All right, we're at the M&M World. Check this out. That's a lot of M&Ms. Overall, sounds like Pat and Haliska had a wonderful time, got some sunshine, and saved a lot of money doing it. Four out of five visits. <laughs> Special thanks again to Pat the Muscle Tech for helping us out with this video and allowing us to use it on the channel to inform and educate our visitors. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate the like and feel free to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to hear from us again. Until next time, my spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas is signing out. Strong hands and happy spinning.